Hello everyone, it's Jazz and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be the second card for the Scrapping for Less May card kit. Um, they've asked me to do some designing for them, so I'm happy to um, demonstrate the different things you can do with their card kit. It's really fun. A lot of variety and a lot of um, compatible components. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got these wooden keys and two of them come in the set along with this um, rusty maroon glitter. And I've got some Cosmic Shimmer Glue that I applied to the surface of the key. Let that dry for about an hour. And then we're going in with a little bit of gold leaf and this glitter. I wanted to make it look like it was a rusty, old, legendary key, just to kind of go with the theme of the card. And I've got a little um, corner of a Rub It Scrub It pad from Ranger, just a corner of it. And I'm just using that to kind of buff off the edges. And then just using my finger to get rid of any excess. And I really like how it turned out. It's so cool. So we've got two stamp sets. One is by Kindred Stamps and the other is by Scrappin' for Less. And we're going to do some masking. So first I'm stamping out my Nessie mask just on a full sticky back post-it note. Or you can buy a masking paper. It will work for this too. And so when you're doing images that you want to layer over one another um, and you're masking, you want to do the first image that's going to be the most forward is the one you'll stamp first. So we're stamping our Nessie first. We're going to use some Copic marker. So I'm stamping with um, Ink on 3 Blackout Ink. And it's a hy hybrid ink um, that's good for Copics and watercolors. You just have to make sure it's dry, completely dry, before you use any mediums over it. And then over Nessie, we will put the storybook. And you kind of want to place it so that he or she um, is fitting within the pages. Because we're going to make it look like an old-fashioned storybook. And I'm using Nina 110-pound um, solar white cardstock that comes in the kit for the base. And then I've also um, stamped and cut a mask for the storybook as well. Isn't that cool? I love revealing the mask. I just, I just think it looks so neat. And then I'm going to use the sentiment from the same stamp set that the storybook came from. And it says, you make my story legendary. And then we're going to stamp and heat emboss that using some WOW Fairy fairy Magic, I think it is. It's like a, a gold and silver glitter embossing powder. So I'm going to stamp that using Versamark. And I'm going to use a powder tool on the paper before I stamp so that the embossing powder does not stick where I don't want it to stick. And I'm using a Misty to do my stamping just to make sure that everything is placed properly and it just makes everything so much easier. Because if you stamp with the Misty and you don't get it completely like with Nessie, um, you can stamp again and you don't have to worry about over stamping or getting weird lines or anything. So it is a must have in my craft room. Fairy tale, that's what it's called. So we're going to um, add that. She got the excess and then heat emboss. And then I have die cut this using a neat and tangled scalloped die. I wanted to make it look like old paper and kind of like a, a vintage fancy kind of paper. Um, so we're going to use two colors of Catherine Fuller inks. And one is called Over Coffee and the other is Sand Castle. And then I'm going to use these... Um, Picket Fence Life-Changing Brushes. And these are really cool, super dense fiber brushes that are really, really soft. Um, super easy to clean. And the hairs in these brushes don't absorb the ink. So they clean up really nicely, too. And I love them. So I just want to kind of go around the page and add darker areas and lighter areas just to kind of give it that old paper feel.
And I have masked off the storybook and our Loch Ness monster to make sure that um, they stay nice and clean and don't get any excess ink on them. And lifting up our masks. And now we're going to go in with some Copic markers. And I'm using some green and blue tones on Nessie, a little monster. And then I will use some tan and yellow tones on the storybook itself um, to kind of make it look like a really old storybook. And these are really small images, so you don't need um, to go to a lot of blending or anything like that. I think I used three colors all together on um, our Loch Ness Monster here. I've got two greens and a really deep dark blue. And if you don't have the exact markers I have, um, don't worry about it. Just use kind of whatever you like in terms of coloring a monster. I mean, it's a legendary monster, so you really could do any kind of color you wanted. Um, but I went with greens and blues. And if you have two colors that don't want to blend, you can always use the tip-to-tip -tip method. And that is taking the lighter color marker, just touching it lightly up to the tip of the darker color marker, and then coloring. And it will kind of give you a blend between the two shades. So I've started adding my blue. I do apologize. I didn't realize that my memory card was full, so I stopped filming. Um, and if you're wondering why I don't have the top cap on my marker, when you can get some, some pressure problems within the marker itself, and when that happens, it will kind of push the ink out. So if you take both caps off your marker before you color, it'll help equalize that pressure and you won't get any blobs of ink where you don't want it. So I'm starting off with E quadruple zero. This is a super light TN color as my base tone. And then I'm going to go in with a couple yellow markers to um, add the aged look to it. So I'm doing that on the outer edges and then I'm going to leave the innermost part of the page lighter to kind of give it that more aged used look on the edges and in the middle and then add light to the middle or the middle of each page. So just real simple, real quick. I was loving how this turned out. I think it'd be an excellent birthday card for any boys or guys in your life, um, especially the ones that have everything so you have no idea what to get them. This would be a super fun card. And so I've got some patterned paper that I'm going to use as the background, and this also comes in the kit. And then I'm going to show you quickly here all the markers that I used for coloring our monster in our book here. So, only seven markers. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> and just to add a little bit of, I guess, more of that old feel, um, we're going to gild the edges with some gold pigment ink. This is easier to do if you have one of these dew drop, these little sizes or a cube, um, than if you had a large ink pad, but it is doable with a large, large ink pad as well. I've done it with both. But because this has little pointy corners, it does make it easier to get in around those scalloped edges. But if you didn't do the scalloped die, if you just had a square die, um, you could do the same thing. It will take a minute to dry, or you could heat emboss it using some gold embossing powder. But I did just like let it sit for a half hour and it was dry to touch. So, And this is a brilliant Galaxy Gold ink pad.
And I was lucky because I did drop my ink pad on my pattern paper, but it went behind our panel, so it all worked out. So now I'm just going to add some score tape to the back of our pattern paper and then adhere that to the card base. And this is my favorite dry adhesive ever. Um, super strong, easy to tear, easy to cut, doesn't fall apart, it's the best. And some stores carry under score tape and other stores carry under be creative tape. So hopefully if you want to get your hands on some, you can find it that way. So we've adhered everything down and now we're going to adhere that key we made using some foam scars that I trimmed down to make them fit. And that is the finished card. So super easy, super fun, um, excellent for boys or dudes in your life that like stories and fantasy and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. So I've got some more cards coming up, got a lot more ideas, and um, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time. I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.